Hi friends, welcome to Yoga with Sarah Trapani. I'm Sarah and so delighted that you're joining me today for this very express full body yoga stretch. See you on the mat. So let's start today's practice in child's pose. We'll start with child's pose with your big toes touching, your knees a little bit wide, and then send the hips toward the heels and start to walk the hands forward. And gradually your forehead can melt down toward the floor, with the tops of the feet resting. Take a moment to close your eyes and try to relax your shoulder joints to a certain degree so that we release tension along the neck and in between the shoulder blades and we can melt the elbows down and wag your tailbone. Take a quick check-in and body scan to see how you're feeling and set an intention for today's practice. Let that intention help guide the effort that you put in today. And we'll start to feel the tops of the feet connect and lift your belly and walk your hands to the right. Inch your fingertips over to the right, tented fingers. Wrap your left sitting bone around toward the outer right heel. Wrap your left sitting bone around toward the outer left heel as you breathe space through the left side body and peek under your right underarm at your right hip. Then walk the fingertips back to center, keeping the arms pretty extended, and walk your fingertips over to the left, crunching through that left and opening the right side seam from the pinky deep into your right lower back SI joint, breathing space into any area that feels tight. And then walk your hands back to center. Plant your palms on the inhale, glide forward. Bring your knees a little closer together. And then exhale, tuck the toes. Lift your knees. Come on up into a downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Lifting one heel at a time to wake up the backs of the legs. And stretch your lower back high as you let your head dangle down. And we're finding that shape of an inverted V. Eventually, the hands and feet have equal pressure on the floor in downward dog. Shake your head yes. Now lift your heels high, come all the way up onto tiptoes. Keep lifting your sitting bones as you tiptoe forward, all the way forward, right between your fingertips. Inhale, lift the belly, the chest, the forehead, lengthen. Exhale, fold Uttanasana and take your hands back behind your calves and find a moment to fold. An extra breath or two, feeling free to bend your knees generously to bring the belly down over the thighs. And wrap your hands back behind your calves to help guide you a little more into that fold. And then press through the feet, sweep the arms out and up overhead. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, give the palms a press. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. And inhale, sweep the arms up, gently looking up between the palms. Exhale, belly in, slowly fold, coming into Uttanasana. Let your head go at the end of that exhale. Then inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot back. Drop your left knee down. Keep the back toes tucked. Reach the arms overhead into crescent lunge on Janasana. So we're drawing the lower ribs in. Wrap that right knee open slightly so it doesn't collapse inward. Find an upper back bend through the upper rib cage. We arch and inhale, look up. Exhale, release your hands to frame that front foot. Lift your left knee and take a big step back into downward dog. Lifting up through your lower back and shaking your head. Then lift the heels high right up onto tiptoes. Tiptoe forward right between the thumbs. Inhale, halfway lift. Gaze ahead. Exhale, fold. Wrap your hands behind your calves or ankles. Uttanasana. Press through the feet as you inhale. Sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, press the hands down through heart center. And inhale, reaching up. We're rooting through the feet to rise up in the upper body. And then exhale, broad collarbones as you fold and melt the torso down over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. 
touch your right knee down, keep the back toes tucked. Take your time to sweep the arms up and find that crescent lunge. A little back bend. The biceps squeeze in toward the ears. And we inhale, reach up through the fingertips, gaze up. Exhale, release your hands to frame that front foot. Now lift your right knee, plant your palms, and step that left foot back right into downward dog. Shake your head no. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out. Wave forward into plank. Hug your elbows in, come all the way down onto the belly. Take your feet flat. Cobra pose as you inhale, a little back bend. And as you exhale, make your way back into child's pose again. From child's pose, start to drop the tailbone and draw your belly in and slowly come up to sit in your hero pose with knees together, finding a tall spine. Sitting up tall through the crown of the head, and then inch your hips over to the right, and we'll swing the legs around. Go ahead and bring your right heel in toward the sitting bone and open your right knee so your right foot is on the inner left thigh. And you drag your right sitting bone back and turn to face your right knee, and then turn left rib toward right rib, looking over the right shoulder. Lift up tall as you inhale. When you exhale, you're gonna drop that left sitting bone down and reach your right hand around for the outside of your left foot or ankle or shin. And just take your left hand on the outer left thigh and press as if you're trying to wrap that left inner thigh toward the ground. And then fold and peek to the left. The inner thighs are moving forward and down for that Janusasana, that deep side bend through the right side. So you can breathe from that right pinky deep into the lower back on the right side, your liver area, your kidney area on that right side. Exhale, you go a little deeper into the fold. And then dropping the tail, go ahead and sit on up. Draw your right knee in, press your right foot onto the floor, and extend your right leg out straight. We'll do the other side. Bring that left foot in and open the left knee. So I like to fold that knee very deeply, but if that's too much on your knee, you could have more of a nice triangle space here. Just don't compress on your knee joint at all. So you're gonna turn and face your left knee and then start to roll that right rib toward the left rib and look over your left shoulder for a gentle spinal twist. And we inhale, sit up, exhale. We're gonna drop that right sitting bone down, swing the left hand around. And then your right hand's on the outside seam of that outer right thigh and pressing inward. So the right inner thigh melts and we gradually fold. And you peek to the right. You can look at your right hip and find some full breaths here. So the inhale helps to expand the stretch along the left side down into that kidney band. And the exhale might move you into the position of micro amount more without force. One real nuanced aspect to notice in the fold is you could think of the left elbow tip pulling away from the right sitting bone. And then go ahead and drop the tail. Drop the tail and come on up. And then bring that left knee in and slide the left leg out straight. And we're going to inch forward. Bend your knees and then make your way onto the back and hug your knees in. Give a squeeze. Open your arms out to a T. Cross your left ankle over on top of the right and let the knees gently go to the right for a supine twist. You can keep your left arm out to a T or you can bring it down a little more. If you want less of a sharp angle on that left shoulder, you peek to the left. If your neck is bothering you, you could always look up at the ceiling. Ah, spinal twist to keep every little tiny joint of the spine mobile and healthy. And when you exhale, you pause to let the belly hug in toward the spine. And then draw the knees back into center. We're going to cross that right ankle on top. 
and then bring your knees over to the left. Let them go just for a very gentle, easeful, reclined spinal twist. Tractioning the top of the right thigh away from the chin and breathing into any place that feels tight. A little pause at the end of the exhale. And then bring the knees back into center. Give a hug. Come into full happy baby, reaching for the outside edges of the feet. Soles of feet face the sky. Rock and massage your back. Evening out the hips. And then bring the knees in together, feet on the floor, mat with distance apart. Knock your knees in to touch. Rest your hands on your belly and find constructive rest pose. And let's take a breathing pranayama exercise here on the back. Breathing through the nose with hands on the belly. We're going to take some breath retention and then elongate the exhale in order to calm the nerves. So inhale through the nose for one, two, three. Hold at the top. And then exhale out the nose for six, five, four, three, two, one, and pause at the bottom. Now inhale, two, three, hold. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, emptying out all the way. Last time, inhale, two, three, Hold, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way out. Take a pause at the bottom. Then return to your normal breath and pause to reflect on how you feel as a result of the breath exercise. And start to windshield wiper the knees, wringing out your back. And gradually, over the next few moments, make your way into your restorative Shavasana today. Find your way into Shavasana, the final relaxation posture, where we'll stay just briefly to let all the joints unwind. Let the floor support you in your process of letting go. Letting go of tension and stress. Letting go of gripping and holding tension in your muscles, joints, bones. Relax your lower jaw open so the teeth are parted. And allow the entire spine to rest from the back of the head down through the tip of the tail. Your awareness flows equally through all the cells of the body in a healing way down into the toes, out into the fingers. A sense of lightness and freedom in all the joints of the body. Take a moment to find your gratitude practice for today. What do you want to cultivate in this moment inside yourself? What do you have to be grateful for? And starting to wiggle fingers and toes and eventually moving a little more and reaching the arms overhead. Take a big resetting stretch. Big full inhale. And when you exhale, gently draw both knees in to give yourself a very compassionate squeeze and rock and massage your back. Remember your intention for practice today and anything else you want to take away. When you're ready, come on up slowly to a cross leg seat. And I'll see you there. Coming on up to sit tall, shrug your shoulders up on the inhale. Exhale, let them glide down. Bring your hands together. Thanking yourself for showing up on the mat today. And I am wishing you joy, peace, health, strength, courage, and trust on the journey. Namaste. I am so grateful for your presence here. And please do like, share, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button to support my channel, which I really, really appreciate. Keep it up. Take care.